like maybe tired for Hunter because it felt like watching his reaction time was not the time I expect for him. He was like just taking too long, Harry. Like 300 millisecond reaction time. This guy's quick usually. So warmed in now though, G2. Favorites on the odds. And even in the maps. 1-1 one, one as we finalize this fight. Liquid back on land for the first time in months. And with something to say, Twist has had a phenomenal series. Phenomenal day, really. Can he top it off with a double dub? G2 don't have enough util to double pump this. And so if Twist is able to get this smoke in in time, that is a bit of an issue. Util comes out now, and G2 are essentially faced with this task of do they want to go through? They kind of have to. They are, the whole play hinges on it. So this is very oh, well counted, boy. and the duelies light hey, up G2. Very well counted. Very well handled. Absolutely slammed. That nade so early, it doesn't even matter. I thought that'd be a problem. Nav just mauls them. Anti-flash on the boost. And these two... The cool old Canadians of Liquid come through with a huge pistol round. Twist has bought a Nova. Okay. That's the thing, man. If you go over towards that B site, you end up in the Canuck hold. And then all you can do is watch. So... Nice. Very cleanly done. Even a Nova bought out for Twists. I saw him warming up with that across this series. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, don't go for the knife here. You're in hot water, Cadian. Enemy territory. So almost gets out. Dink on Nexa. Don't need to overcommit. Skulls will block and live because another entry there could have led G2 into an empty A site. Instead, they go back up the banana. Get turned into mash. There's that Nova. Pump and dump. And don't leave your number on the nightstand. It's tw liquid with 2-0. Yeah, not my best work. Yeah, I mean, I've seen twists, you know, as we say, been using the shotgun all day in the warm-ups, man. So it was just a matter of when, not so much if, he looked to bring that out. And he puts it to work here and now, money made. Quite the confident display to just walk down mid as well in these rounds. G2 may have forced in without a bomb plant, but they get nothing from it, just a bit of damage. Ooh, ooh, he's back. Why did Monacy take damage there? He tried to, like, uh, game it around the the hitbox. I think even he's kind of frustrated by it. That was weird. Like, the nade went through the floor. Magic. So they've been gifted a little deeg opener. Let's see if they can make it any more interesting here with just the deagles. And a volunteers himself up as tribute. He goes in first. And, well, they were meant to trade that, but oh. <laughs> it's not gone well, has it? Twists. He's having a great day. Finally. There's the ace. We've had so many nearly aces, and it's Twists to finally get one. Breaking through. 4Ks all day. It's more like it. Always on the anti-eco, but that'll make you feel good about your B-side defense coming into this all-important gun round for G2. They don't want to get swept out of this third map. The sooner they start, the better. That's what have we got. And the early banana control, G2 smoked the bottom of it, really trying to stop Liquid from taking control, but that is an inevitability. Nice grenades. Oh! Churned up by butter. Nico on five. Pummeled. That's kind of annoying if you're G2, right? That's your reliable point man put down to a serious back foot to open up the round. And so someone else has got to try to fill Nico's shoes. 
Just Inferno, Banana, very uncomfortable for Tees to take early control. G2, even though they smoked logs, they can't even sit on ramp. Quid wait, their barrel gives Kadian forewarning. He hits his shot. There's three inside of A. Discounting Kadian, so it's going to get worse now for G2 as they come waltzing up short into twists yet to die. Playing an MP9 as well. Selfless. Preemptive smoke drop out of Nafli, and he's going to reposition on the back of it. Twists now getting his molly stuck in. That's a big problem for G2. This is wasting precious seconds that they simply don't have. Even re-aggresses. Oh. Twist still flawless. No. 11 and 0. Finally, they learn that he's mortal after all, but he's done enough to win the round for Team Liquid. Twist has bottled up all of his ability for the end of the second and now third map. I mean, he's been playing fine all day. Like the first match, the, the BO1, he was the top performer. The, the retakes were better than the map. Huh? The retakes were. Ancient, he was solid. One of the tiny little snippets that we're getting here as well. It feels like him and uh, Kadian have a, have a good little working relationship between the two of them. He's been very vocal in, in all the maps that we've seen so far. So now a timeout called in for G2. Mm. At the major, G2 are actually very good at getting eight round T sides. I remember a couple of games where they had solid Inferno T sides, a lot of late B executes. But right now, not really finding that gap in the same way. Twist has been on both bomb sites. They've run into him both times. Skull still zero and zero. A non-factor not required yet. Next time we have a little uh, little time out here. I saw Zeus point at his headset, so I'm assuming. That was a bit of an issue there. But we're going to get that remedied. G2. They don't want to feel like they... They looked like themselves for just one map in the series. But I think, you know, it does come with that sort of caveat that, like, Nico, who I think is... Oftentimes, one of the more exciting parts of uh, their their Inferno T sides, the guy who so often can get the ball rolling, got bullied down in their first rifle round. Who do you think looks the most tired? On G2. Hmm. Not Monacy. No, Monacy looks I'm just going to go Hunter. From what I've seen in game, Hunter, like, just off reaction time. And that's incredible because, like, he looks sleepy, but he is still playing well. Yeah. It's not easy. But that's, like, well. the that's the sloth in him. You got, that, you got that sloth dog yeah, in true. him. Yeah, true. He's just slower. Not, maybe slower to us, but to him, it's still pretty fast. Day one, not easy especially off of the major for G2. That must be taken into consideration. All or nothing matchup. And a big, uh, big opportunity, right? As we've been saying, you either go to the quarters bare minimum or a, uh, or a semi-finals berth if you're able to win that next BO3. You and can't also, be disappointed with that. It's also just about having a day off as well. You don't play yeah. tomorrow. You play that winner's match on Wednesday. So, and a dodge the, the terrifying, you know, like lower bracket that's taken yeah. shape. I mean, to me, the only terrifying team is Heroic there. And then if Mal's lose later, sure then. There's going to be more terrifying teams down there. Like who? 
I think even Furia, Furia or, or Mao's I mean, are actually Liquid scary to face. Furia beat Liquid yeah. on Inferno. Was it? No, Mirage, I think, at the RMR. So, sure, sure. I'll give you that. But uh, right now, Liquid are in the front running for that playoff spot. 4 0 up. An early rotate to B. G2. Again, Nico getting naded. Poor guy. That is the life of the first man up B. He's had to take the tech and just storm in. We've got a god flash from Monacy. Yakinda in an anti position and even a setup for Cadian and Spawn. This looks good for Liquid, but pressure on Yakinda on the MP9. Cadian even watching with a flash pulled. He's going to try to set his teammates up here. Spams one out through the smoke, and Yakindar takes it one step further, whittling down the B play. It never gets to take shape. 4G2 is liquid. Keep the scoreline flawless. Oh, the hype as well. They're getting loud. They know what this means, Harry. They are absolutely rocking G2's world on this CT side. None of these rounds have even been close. The closest G2 got was the force buy, where Kadian pushed mid and like mauled them, and they got a couple of kills near the end. But still, Liquid knew when to cool off in that 3v2. And I love that. Play through the smoke from Naf. Trading off of your Kinder. Kaden even got the spam kill with that USP through smoke. So just everything working for Liquid right there. Is there an answer for G2? The Skulls is on the board. Yes. He's been having a very odd game thus far. The rounds have just kind of been ending and they're it's, winning. It's fine. He's playing full Norbert mode, man. He's just sitting back on, on pit side. He doesn't need to fight. He's letting his team just kill G2 where they stand. So that's fine. Skulls isn't overdoing it. That's the key of the A anchor. Don't overdo it. Uh, Nico got naded again. Fourth round, maybe in a row. Skulls. Oh dear, he gets undone instead. Hunter has crept his way all up short. And now Jizu have the A site. This was not in the script. Twist is going to try and deal with it. Twist looking like he can withstand the pressure of a lost site here. He's brought them back in for a retake. Man up now, thanks to his handiwork, and he even closes the distance on a hunter. A twist is going hog wild, man. Finally spammed out as Hooksy gets him by chance. But it's just Hooksy left up against it all. Just? A couple of convincing kills, sure, but he's got so much more to do. Creeping the smoke, it's a nice idea. Kadian and Nap have split up to try and find him. But now that they've cleared the pit, oh. they know. They've got him locked in that smoke, and they'll deal with him. That almost looked scary when Twist died because it felt like Liquid weren't going to go graveyard and that was the, the info position to clear pit. That's the best way to do it. And luckily enough, Naf does climb through there in that 2v1. Otherwise, they might be just tapping the bomb, trying to force Hooksy to fight. But they realized he was in the smoke. He was on the clock there. Nice retake smoke. G2 not aware that their motor smoke didn't land. It was flown on the fly. Big gap. Couple of kills come through it. But yeah, still twist controlling this game. 13 yeah. and 2. He gets that retake started. You said it in that round as well. Nico, in every single round but the pistol, has been put down to like 20 Ooh. HP at the start. So that's credit to Team Liquid's util usage sure. here over towards Banana. Oh, this time the nade, it didn't do anything. G2 with only one of the last 11 rounds played, and that was at the end of Anubis. So. Got to get back to their winning ways. Maybe you've gotten what it feels like. Another nice nade, but they're popping on a good timing. No one's aware. Your kinder, they don't even clear him properly. They're looking down before they look sideways. He is just completely forgotten about. And yep, G2, make that 12 rounds now. As lazy checks come in. G2 just can't balance. Nice. <laughs> They're looking mindful as heck right now, Harry. They really are. And, you know, I think uh, when they've had Zeus behind them since that second map, really, just like screaming the encouragement, getting everyone hyped up, that feels like it's transferred across here into the third. See Taz trying to do the same thing. Luck, this is a very hard position to be in. I think it's even harder, you know, when... I think it's been a bit obvious that, like, G2 have looked... A little out of it at times and i think it's going to be way harder to, to find it within yourselves to, to pull back from a 07 down position especially when you don't even really feel like you've been close outside of the round where hunter finds all that space with the tech nine they, they've not really had any other op opportunities
All the rifle rounds have been very dominant. And so they don't really have a lot to go off of right now, the G2. Is there an team Liquid, this is legit as hell. Constantly bullying down Banana. They've successfully kind of dealt with Nico's attempts at aggression here. They, they've entirely taken him away from doing that. And so instead, G2 are looking for answers elsewhere. Going to pressure out in the top mid. This is maybe the most util that Liquid have used in the first 20 seconds of the round, though. So two mollies forced out very early down B and A. Oh, he came to that timing and the clear, and he still doesn't get punished. Nico just cannot get in his groove right now. That felt like a guaranteed kill for him. Kind is still alone. Can he escape? Oh, coming through the smoke is a nice play for G2. It's going to catch Yakinda, but he still gets back to the sandbags. One more will do it. Bursting heads. Oh. Yakinda popping noggins, looking for more. Monacy will catch him getting aggressive. And suddenly G2 flipped the script. After Yakinda does that, Liquid think the round is done. As far as they're concerned, it should be over. Skulls, he can hear these footsteps. He knows that they're already up and past him. They're going to clear out the short side. Skulls has been spotted. And now he hears that bomb coming in a little bit later. Does he want to try and find it? He wants to take this fight for Monacy. He almost has to cross into the danger zone. He could drop back a little wider into the mini pit, and that's what he'll do, but still has to cross into the site. Liquid don't punish in time. Next to watch is on from the pit, and now it's Skulls. Do or die. Creeping up and in. Can't quite deal with Nexa cleanly. We'll lock in that kill. Monacy is one step too far. And so G2 finally get on the board, and it's on the back of Monacy, clutching up in the 1v1. I felt like a lack of experience play. I didn't feel like Skulls knew what he wanted to do there, right? He has a timing to flank an apartment, get a really good position. He doesn't commit to fighting the bomb on the cross, which is fine. Maybe his teammates calling for him to wait, but then you just feel like he could have made other plays. He could have wrapped around alongside. He could have gone through the apartments. He could have strafed out to quad, meaning he's safe from pit, but he can stop that cross. There were so many more options. Instead, he's just jiggling and still allows Modesty to get in. Like, that's no deterrent. Kind of insane that the one-man hold at B did everything and then some, uh, but the four-man hold at A crumbled to dust at the first challenge from G2. That's credit to Nexa. He finds that double in Boiler. Liquid caught out on an island, trying to swing down mid to assist, but yeah, almost forget about that Yakinda impact. He had some excellent kills at B, and it mattered not. 2v5 right back. G2 on the board. Got to do something with it, though. Woo! Locked. Staying mobile is Cadian. He's been quick. Rumored to be a little under the weather, but it's not stopped him today. Okay. None there, but Skulls hears more. And this is a comfortable position where Liquid reset and regroup. Nexa was the guy who opened up the last round that was in a spot like this. He's going to have to do it all over again. Creeping up through short. Nexa keen to deliver. Secures that opener onto Twist, but blinded by the flashbang. Kadian lending a helping hand to his teammate down in the pit. Blows the smoke open. Lands a tag to Hunter. And tees up Liquid for a retake here. A man up in the 3v2. Hunter down low after that AWP just sinks its teeth into him on the smoke break. And so Nico might have to do the heavy lifting here. I've seen Nico wreak havoc in this exact position. So let's see if he's up for the task. One kill from Nico. Why not the double? Just Katie and left to deal with. And Nico lights up Team Liquid. That's now two in a row for G2. It's been a long time since they're winning ways, but they start to chain some rounds together now. And that could be their route back in. Finally, Nico, a guy who's been bullied all half long, gets his chance to play into the late round. 
and he does not miss that opportunity. Yeah, aside from that one round where he faces Yakinda and, and falls, it doesn't feel like Nico's made any you know, errors in this T side. He's just been in one of the harder positions. And well, you put him in a good one, you know what he can do. He gives us a round. Fantastic triple kill for Nico in the post plant. It's about time. Again, the nades have just been ludicrous for Liquid. The spam will respond though. G2, it's not unsolved. They offer up even more damage back onto the CT side. Nico's got the bomb. Not his problem. It's him V the all bomb B. That frees up a quad rotation on A. Liquid making a nice gamble with KD and having the AWP and a re-smoke available. He'll get some full warning with that flash coming through. Fires a shot, goes back. Smoke timing is everything, and you can just supplement it with more utility. G2, no, they've at least jiggled the defense now. And so they can recommit to their original goal on this A site. Nice off angle. I'm going to try to walk it up long. Naf is in a very dedicated position here. Gets out with the double kill. Does all he has to and then some. And so now, you know, it's just down to this 2v2 over towards this A site. Nexa trying to get out through the apartments, but won't check for skulls. Instead, tries to hound down the player at short. And so it's a nice, easy double for skulls. Twists act acts as the bait. And Skulls is able to capitalize. Probably Skulls just eats those two flashes. Sure, they're far away. They're not full whiting him, but he's getting blind for a couple of seconds there. He eats two of them and then just waits. And both kills arrive. Patience pays off for Skulls. That's more like it. He talks about how he's not really been getting too involved. He's just that pit side anchor. Just been waiting for his time to play. And Liquid, back to their winning ways. I mean, dude, one of the things that's sick here, you know, we were talking about it coming into the matchup as to how both these teams are extremely proven on Inferno, but G2 are very much proven versus better opposition. For sure. However, Liquid have clearly got a lot of ideas. Their nades have that, been incredible. Yeah. And I mean, think about it. They, they have successfully stopped any of this kind of faster action over towards Banana every single time to the point where Nico's kind of entirely moved away from doing that. This is the fastest G2 have had this control over towards B. And utility's often been the issue here, so they're going to try and get ahead of it. Yakindar's missed the timing on this jiggle. That nade going to come out way too soon, and it'll never arrive as Hooksy chases him down. Team Liquid was stacked here, though, and they hear Naf running away. They shouldn't suspect Twists as a third player at the back of the site, but he's cleared out by Nexa. And even as Naf responds with one, it's dire straits for Liquid. They've done good damage. One more kill would bring them back into the fold. It never materializes. Smoked off at spawn, and that might just seal the deal on attempting this round. Really? Cheeky, cheeky. Can they stop him? He's not on the bomb. And I think he'll die with it instead. I thought Nap was going for a sneaky defuse. Instead, it's Deegs galore for Monacy, denying a couple of guns on the way out. Still a G2 round, no matter what Liquid throw at them in there at the end. Oh, G2 just hit every timing there. Even though Nico again got put to 50, that contact B play was beautiful. The first contact comes from someone spotting on your kinder, but he doesn't know Hooksy's walked all the way up wall. That's a great call for G2. A bit of luck goes a long way on those jiggles. And they make the most of it. Twist also with his first whiff. It's felt like in the whole map. And not a great time to have it, but still Liquid can keep this half dominant with the ninth. Kadian getting involved. They just send themselves down middle. They keep going. There's no bomb. Yeah, that's awkward. G2 left that. If only the orb stayed on the angle, but Akinda's got one on B as well. And G2 are running through that smoke. 
Worked for them last time. This Ooh. time's no different. Yakinda are dealt with and gets awkward for Naf, who's kind of boxed into a corner. Monacy and Nico lead the way as G2 try to battle back in. Oh. This would be all but one of these rounds being at man disadvantages for G2. One of them a 2v5, one of them a 3 on 5. And now look at it, rounded out with a 4v5 right down the end of the half. Team Liquid left wanting in this retake. Desperately looking for that call to arms to bring them back in, but no kill presented yet. Skulls falls as Monacy is swift to deal with him. Twist's dead and just KD and left standing. He can't do it all alone. And so G2, they will salvage something at the end of this first half. Team Liquid lead the way right now, and it's only a matter of time. We're gonna have to see if those couple of rounds they let slip by come back to haunt them. An 8-4 lead, Liquid might feel confident. Versus G2 moving over to the CT side, you can never be certain, especially as they do find some footing towards the end of that first half. It was spearheaded by Monacy and Nico having a bit of a return to form. There's man down moments as well that Nexa helped to recover. The firepower pieces are emerging for G2. Let's see if they've gotten here in time.
Adrian gets a spot on Monacy and tells his team to be cautious in alt middle. They held for a re-peak. Monacy's just trying to buy time with jump spots. You'll notice G2 have full armor. They're not blocking. They want these fights. They're going to get him. Catching KD and jumping up. Nico risking it all here with his triple B setup. This is all KD and just pulling strings right now. Puppeteer back to A into two. Nexa first point of contact. And maybe the last thing oh. they see as well is Nexa. Lays waste to Team Liquid with Monacy by his side and some uh, fancy finger work. That is a pistol round locked in. Hot hands, the best P2K player in the game right now. And I'm not even joking. There's not many people on that scoreboard, I guess, but he makes it look so good. Fantastic headshots for Nexa, plucking them out of the sky. And G2, give us a reason to get invested in this second half. What have they got? Set it towards the tail end of that first half. The rounds that G2 put on the board, three of them were from man disadvantages. They had a 2v5, 3v5, and a 4v5 go their way. And the other one was that kind of low economy round where they walked up and, and found the timing, right? And so if those are the rounds that come back to haunt Liquid... Ooh, after a that is, lead. Yeah, Ooh. that is a really rough way for it to go. Pistol round now puts wind in the sails. The G2, Liquid on this force by. Let's see if they can find something with it. Out towards long. They're going to bypass this setup on the long side. They're looking for the B split. Hooksy might hear this, but dealing with it is a whole different beast. Tag on an eco. He can't finish the job. Oh, no. That's a disaster. Monacy's going to arrive. Gets here in good timing. If Hooksy can even just slow them down by Monacy a second, that's all it takes. And now it's only Naf. What was once looking so good for Team Liquid is all called into question as reinforcements arrive and Monacy shines through. A positive desk slam for Nico. Thank goodness his in-game leader is able to ring around the rosy. It was like that pistol round back in Copenhagen where he's just running around ruins and ruining Liquid's day. Backstab, meanwhile, for Monacy. He does not hesitate on his rotation. And Liquid, despite a great pause and a five on four, cannot convert that force. They'll go again. Rebuying for one more. Two AKs dropped. Two unarmored deagles as a result everything to play for. This is a uh, quite an all-in. Scary stuff. I, yeah, I mean, with three surviving in the last round, the buy is still good here for G2, so it's not like Liquid are trying to take advantage of, you know, a beat-down G2 economy. And if they come up short in this force, it's going to be 8-8 eight, eight on the board. So this is pretty risky, all things considered. Actually, I'll say very risky, all things considered. Let's, uh, let's hold out hope for this Skulls Deeg over in top mid, making a bit of noise. It's a late banana take. Nico's got the smoke. Oh, oh this is risky. Ooh. Oh. Pays off, though. Not the start they wanted, but it's the one they've got. That frees up that second player to go back to B. Hooks can help Nico yet again. And there's the block at 30 seconds. They don't have a re-smoke right now. So this might be Liquid's chance. Flash is still helping, slowing it down somewhat. How's There's more here? util to follow, but not going to get there in time. Instead, nading the smoke open to catch these players crossing. Bomb plant denied as Nico repositions, and Nico oh. tears through Team Liquid. What a fantastic round for Nico to get Flash back into B and getting quad the second after that Molly expires, and also the second before Liquid go through B. So as far as they're aware, there's no one at quad. There can't be anyone at quad. We just mollied it. We didn't hear him tick. So that's a fantastic reposition for Nico. But also just an ugly round for Liquid when no one's in the bomb site. There are still positions uncleared. Hope. 
and a dream. Hopeful for Liquid on that force bite, and Yakinda goes again. Keeping up his VP days, always having something in a round. Okay, maybe it'll pay off though. Oh. Oh, I can't quite finish the job. Oh, Nico, oh, Nico will. Nico lends a helping hand. And so now he's going to make up for it. He's able to have a valiant last stand here in that previous round, but this Ouch. time jinked immediately and now deleted by the pistols. Hunter blowing the smoke open, but won't get there in time to put a stop to anything. And so G2, they've got to write this one off. Liquid, their persistence with these four spies, with these investments, finally pays off in their worst force yet. It's just a hero AK round. That's just your kind of going, I believe in myself. You know, trust me, I'm going to make a play. They support him a little bit with some flashes. The Nico TK, not ideal, but also you kind of did so much damage. You felt like a Glock would have killed Hooksy there anyway. And Nico just can't even convert a kill. He gets dinked by Cadian's Glock. He decides to re-swing. And Liquid just have so many crosshairs at quad. This time does not go unnoticed. All power from Honesty. Gonna start apps and well he'll have some targets coming his way pretty soon. Strikes while the iron's hot, first kill found. Gonna try to take up position over here in the apartments with Skulls dead. Attention momentarily taken off the apartments, but now Nexa gets a handle back on it. The liquid blocked over towards Banana. They're gonna look further afield. Try rejoin up with Nafly over here. In doing so, they will find themselves in the prying eyes of this Monacy AWP. Holding the line. Barrel seen. And he's ripe to get this one, is Monacy. They try to double swing him, but that second player out through Boiler won't get there in time. And so that one's free. Honestly, just going through the motions on this orb, but he's having a field day. Third kill in the round. It's all Monacy. And now the next is given a chance to get involved. This one gets closed out cleanly. G2 right back to it. And quick to forget the way that that last one went down. They immediately continue this stranglehold over Liquid, trying to close the gap. Yeah, this is now asking a lot from Kadian on T side, right? G2 had the same difficulties, just getting in. And even though Liquid have a flash in the pan, eco round win, consistency is going to be hard in this second half, in this final half of the series to see who will make it to playoffs first. Tense game right now, and G2, despite being around down, feel like they're the ones in control. They have the money, they have the better half. And Liquid have a rebuy. Cadian's Orb even makes an appearance. that G2 banana regression. They start triple over towards B. They want to try and flex for this Hunter, even dropping off some extra util on his way. Mob 
grabs that all in down through Banana and G2 immediately stake their claim to this map control. After getting locked out of Banana, Liquid going to set their sights once again on trying to take apartments. Monacy and Nexa have kind of swapped places here. As Monacy was posted down in the pit, but he's got to remain mobile on this AWP. And so they will look to swap back. Heavy lean into the top of mid. G2 do want to try and fight for this while they've got so many bodies here. But as Yakindar's making noise on Banana, that will look to pull players away. However, here comes the push out in the top middle. Immediately, Hunt is called back around. So they're still too strong for G2 here in this A site. Hunter and Nico both hold the line. And it's left to a low HP Naf line. Yakindar bomb away from them. Oh. Yakindar trying to take this space over towards B. But this has been heard. Hooksy can hear these footsteps, collects that kill for free, and now Naf has nowhere left to go. Oh, here somewhere, and it's back to spawn. That timing on the long smoke fade could not be worse for Liquid. Nico tucks in in long cubby, and the second the long smoke's out, Liquid are moving up short, and they just get shot in the back. Makes it very awkward. And Hunter, he's had troubles on T-sides today, that's for sure, had it on Anubis, but the one thing you can't say on his CT sides is that he's a liability or a risky player, often just playing playing the very late rounds on CT, seeing him doing it back on Dark, on Anubis, did it the same here on A-side. Letting Liquid walk into his trap. Chewed up, spat out, saved AK round pistols. Ooh. Oh, that's... Okay. Careful. That was the bomb on the back of Kadian doing oh, that no. as well. And now Yakindar taking it one step further. Still Hunter here to find. Yakindar can't quite deal with him but this is a lot of info for Liquid to work off of, right? They've taken a double kill up through Banana. They spot a third player there, and now they're going to pick up the pace. Into Monacy they go, who is left alone down in the pit with his trusty orb in hand. First shot connects, but Monacy oh. needs more. Lightning fast. This AWP can't quite swing it for a third. Monacy's done all he can down in the pit, and now it resides with Nexa and Hunter to finish what he started. On plant in for Liquid. Backstab oh. coming through, but with KD and naded out, Naf needs to strike right now, and he's missed that timing on the short walk. Won't miss it the second time around. Hunter dealt with. And Naf trying to close the distance, close the gap. Smoke out, tries to play through it, sees that Nexa is not on the bomb. Will he call his bluff the second time around? You tilt to blow the smoke open. Nafly swung on and he'll hold the line. Nafly locks it in. And Liquid with nothing to go off of. Secure double digits. Maintain this lead over G2. Refusing to let G2 have that lead for even a moment. What great routing for Naf as well. They go back porch side through Boiler and he realizes with the bomb inside of the site, he doesn't want to go through apps and not have an angle. He'll just walk up close. And man, that smoke break mechanic is the best thing about this game. It's really made clutches like that exciting. Clears the bomb, realizes he's getting swung. And three kills from Naf to put Liquid back in the lead. For how long is the question? All of the money, all of the result of this map rests on this round for G2. They put everything in, three MP9s. If they don't convert it, Liquid not only sit on 11, they have an anti-eco to deal with. A bitter pill that G2 might just have to swallow. It's a very difficult position for G2 to be in, despite a fantastic CT side recovery in this game. Liquid just broke it at the right time. Oh, Monacy knows he's very lucky to have not been punished there. It's all got to be Monacy again. He's alone on B. He's got the best gun in the round. Highest kills in the server. All expectation on this guy. All eyes. 
And G2 know that as well. They trust in him to play solo B. Yakinda's luck. V Monacy on the meantime. Four on four on A. Oh, it's just the tag. Oh, and Yakinda. Wow. They're going in? That's a blind hit, but they're starting to commit yeah, to the stack. Yeah, yeah that, going back molly, now and Liquid. That molly actually just stops. Liquid in their tracks. I think maybe they could have overcommitted. Hooksy runs through his teammates Molotov. This is such a weird call for G2 to block when they had Liquid right where they want them. Liquid are already hunting down these saving players oh, they now. Want the they don't want to give over these AKs to these SMGs. But if they can secure the exits, they are teeing themselves up. What a frustrating round for G2. Modesty hits the tag on Yakinda. He still gets headshot. And then right as you think Liquid actually might overdo the round. Yakinda's probably screaming, come B. G2 run through their own Molotov. I mean, they throw the molly in the first place. That's just crazy to me. As you said, it was all hinging on this one. For Liquid getting up onto 11 now, it's just these two guns to worry about in the next round. Yeah, they don't have money, so they don't want to hunt too heavy, but every little helps. Only two guns. You will not have more rifles. Unless Nexo buys a FAMAS. But nobody wants that. What a great kill for Yakinda. Today, it's felt like the Yakinda high risk solo lurks on the other side of the map have paid off. They certainly paid off on Ancient with that big red flank in the 1v3. And right there, he may have just set them up to close this series. Yeah, it's also been really reassuring seeing Twists and Naf both look good, right? Both kind of showing the form you'd hoped when Twist was brought back into this roster. The uh, reuniting of two former teammates with a long history together. And now we're getting them both in great form. Much akin to how this started, it's sort of like your, your dream liquid scoreboard. With them two leading the way. That's so a two guns is all G2 have to work with. Looking like they want to try and fight for this mid control, but the flash and the smoke. Well, it gives them the veil to cross behind. That flash really slowed them down and sucked the speed out of this top mid play. Hunter will continue creeping down through middle, but Hooksy alone over towards B. Might get a taste of his own medicine here. Instead, he's just smoked off back at the spawn. And so even though Hunter is arriving in great timing on this wrap round, he's mopped up. He's dealt with that AK irretrievable. They will try and get a handle on it, but Naf does not give them the room. And so Liquid are one round away from solidifying a spot in the playoffs. Quarterfinals at minimum. But shooting for semis if they're able to win that next BO3. We said coming into this, they have to seize these up, take every chance they can to get in these land performances, these deep runs. What you were expecting when this Liquid squad was put together. And they are just five kills away from accomplishing that feat. Great call in the previous as well, just knowing that with no util down banana, G2 just had nothing to play with and they could contact into B. This is what G2 was saving for to try and save this series. A last hurrah into overtime. But Liquid have looked like the better team across these three maps. Fresher ideas. Consistently stronger individuals. And now three shots to shut this down for good. Nico risking it all here. Back a banana. Hooks is holding flashes for him. Out they go. He'll need him. He'll need all the help he can get. It's only the captain. Yakinda comes running and gunning for the entry. Hooksy lines up two as they turn back to spawn. He might be able to save the day solo. Gonna have to. Hooksy oh. rising to the occasion. Three kills in the round. That gives G2 a fighting chance in this retake. Bomb still not planted. Kadian now posted back of the site on this AWP dream position for this AWP. 
G2 aren't going to have an active god again. This time they've got to get through Kadian's AWP. Nails that first. Any more from the orb. Kadian will walk it over the line. And Liquid rise up. Stopping G2 in their tracks. In a lengthy BO3 series. They're able to take it in the distance. Inferno might be a home map for the G2 squad. But Liquid have now planted their flag here as they have at least locked in quarter five.